Hey y'all, it's Janine, and I want to show you how I achieved this manicure. It's for a contest um, entered in on MakeupTalk.com. And to start with, I painted two coats of LA Colors Color Craze and in Infrared on my nails. It's just a really nice pearlescent sheer pink. And then for my stamping, I'm going to use Sinful Colors and Dream On. And the first plate I'm working with is Bundle Monster Plate number 16, and I'm using uh, one of the floral designs on it. And as usual, you just paint a little bit of your stamping color onto the plate over the design. And then scrape off the excess. And pick it up with your stamper and then transfer the design to your nail. Now I'm putting this one on sideways because um, I find that it covers from side to side with my nail better this way because I have wide nail beds. And also I'm going to be doing something with the tip so I wanted to leave the tip blank. And this was a good way to achieve that. And then I continue stamping each one of my nails. Um, except for the thumb because I'm going to be doing a little bit different design on the thumb. But I do the other three fingers the same way. Just paint, scrape, and stamp. I'm just trying to line your stamp up and uh, keep it as even and straight as possible. The next plate I'm working with is Bundle Monster Plate number 12 with that little flower motif and this is the one I'm going to do on my thumb. Um, I like having a little bit different design on one nail, uh, kind of an accent nail. I just find that it adds a little more visual interest to the design, to the manicure. And the same process, uh, paint, scrape, and stamp. And you just do the best you can to find your placement and line it up with the nail. Well, with where you want it on the nail. Sorry for that poor camera shot. You can't really see it that great. Okay, now I'm going to go back with the Sinful Colors and Dream On. And just paint the tips of the nails with it. And you want to keep it fairly straight and even. It doesn't have to be perfect because the next step is going to disguise um, any little boo-boos or any places where it might not be perfectly even. If I was going to be doing a French tip where I was really concerned with it uh, being perfectly straight, I would use tape and uh, tape off the tips to get a really nice perfect straight line, but in this instance we don't really need it to be perfect. The floral motif disguises a lot and then the next step is going to disguise a lot as well. Okay, and for this next step we're using Wet n Wild Wild Shine. It's a glitter polish and the number is C435G. And it's just a, a pink glitter. And I basically just lightly dab um, it over the tip. Just add some sparkle and shine. And I'm a girl that loves a little glitter. And once you've gotten all the tips done, and I do all the tips, all five tips, uh, then I go just go back over with my favorite top coat, clear top coat, to seal everything in. And here's the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Have a great day.